Former Shadow Home Secretary David Davis uh, is here now to discuss the latest twist in the Mitchell affair. Can we trust the police? We can trust most of them. I mean, the vast majority of coppers uh, join up to protect the public, feel the collars of villains and do the job. But, you know, some of them, plainly, that's not the case. I mean, look, we've had Hillsborough. We've had the Jean-Charles de Menezes affair, in which there was deception. We've had uh, the G20 affair. Uh, the public are beginning to get a pattern here. Now, it's not representative of everybody, but it is systemic in some way. When it can happen to some one of the most powerful men in the land, a cabinet minister, you begin to think what it must be like for those people at the other end of the social scale. Well, when it first happened and Andrew Mitchell was, as it were, the nadir of his reputation, his wife, who's a GP, suddenly found her, the, the black nurses, bluntly, the, the minority nurses, uh, coming up to her that, who worked with her and said, we understand uh, Mrs., uh, Dr. Mitchell because, you know, our sons have had this, you know, in Brixton and so on. So I do think there's a real issue here that people who uh, are powerless in society or much, you know, haven't got the resources of being able to get the ex-Shadow Home Secretary or whatever to, to, to help out, haven't got the contacts of the press, haven't got the, the time and, 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 and uh, commitment to do it, you know, if they were in that position, they would still be there today, not like Andrew. Who obviously thought about this? I mean, when did the rot set in? Well, it's, it's very hard to know because right down the decades there have been problems. I mean, you know, right back to the Guildford 6 and all that, so, sorry, Guildford 4 and Birmingham 6 and so on, there have been problems down the way. Now, all through that time, broadly speaking, the service we've got from the ordinary police officer has been really good. Our coppers are better than most in the world. But the simple truth is that there's been systemic problems arising from all sorts of things, like the way logs are filled in. You know, the, the policemen are allowed to confer over a log after an incident, for example. If you and I were uh, there, we'd have to give our evidence straight away. So there are lots of things wrong there. The other problem, which I think is really being highlighted here, is the question of, you know, should the police be allowed to investigate themselves? You know, should they actually be allowed to, to say, well, yeah, actually, our officers really didn't, you know, they didn't mean to lie. You know, this was not an in malicious lie, you know, uh, which is what's been said today, you know, in defiance of the facts, frankly. Very interesting, isn't it, that that was, used to be a left-wing complaint. Yeah. And here we have people right across the political spectrum, doesn't matter whether it's you or Jack Straw or Simon Hughes... Or Chris but, Mullin or yeah. whoever, yeah, yeah. Ranged against the massed forces of the police. Well, it's or their it, representatives. Yeah, it, 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 well, bear in mind you've got two things in play here. You've also got the Federation, who are desperately trying to defeat a government which was attacking their terms and conditions. That's how they saw it anyway. Uh, and so you've got that, which is compounding a problem that we already have. But yes, they, it, it is an across-the-political spectrum concern, because we rely on the police. And this country, historically, has had fabulous policing by comp comparison with most other countries. In every other country of the world, virtually, the police have been part of a state apparatus or they have been a mm. problem problem for other reasons you know I mean in the States for example um, the, the the normal warnings you have to give all arose at the Supreme Court stepping in because some state police uh, were, were doing things wrong so we've had a pretty good service but nevertheless there is a real systemic problem I think here. Well, we did invite the police federation on but they decided they didn't want to talk this I'm not remotely surprised thank you very much for joining us mm. thanks now, there was a new newspaper on sale.